The new battle pass has just dropped in. Wow, did they ever pull a fast one on us with an expensive pull rate and more bugs. But today I'll be discussing the new and improved Bat Family. These characters are fantastic and I believe they will change the defensive meta. They even spoiled a Green Lantern. Looking at this Green Lantern, he is overpowered as f It's Hal Jordan and the subtitle is Green Lantern. Huge distinction as there might be a keyword. He is what Flash wanted to be even at his strongest. Hey Barry, you uh, got a little something on your nose. Now the group bonuses of the Green Lantern core is still a mystery. Just by his passive and using his power move, Hal Jordan manipulates tiles for green or enhances them. This makes the already strong green team even more offensive, giving them a solid tank and additional utility for manipulating green tiles. With his sworn oath passive, each time another hero ally performs a power move, having a 60% chance to convert a random tile to green isn't as limiting as we think. You already want Enchantress for her passive, having green tiles appear 10% more often. Along with Mira and more green lanterns on the way, the green team will probably be the number one in offensive capabilities. So for now, Hal Jordan belongs in S. We got new additions to the Bat Family, and the so-called showcase didn't impress as much as expected. It didn't really show off or highlight the strength of any of the new characters. I know that the developers don't listen to this, but since it's a free stage, enhancing the strength of opponents could better showcase the characters' intended abilities. For me, all it showed was how Robin was a decent 4 star and that stealth occurs more often, but there was no urgency or excitement in getting these characters as I was playing the stage. Because I think the Bat Family will change the defensive meta, as most players are now level 60 and finalizing on gear 10 for characters. Generally in ranked assault, attacking teams has a huge advantage over defense. It is my belief that dodge will give an edge to defending teams, making it more challenging for attackers having to deal with the RNG of dodge. Begin dodge protocol. Why are you starting a subroutine? It's not that complex! Batgirl is the cornerstone and the team captain to the dodgeball team. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? The passive grants allies dodge up to 10% and gives dodge up buff whenever she performs a power move. Her power move cannot be dodged and can bypass enemies taunt, which is funny because in a mirror match, they kind of counter each other. Batwoman is the evasion tank. While taunting, Batwoman's dodge goes up by 15%. So if you stack as much dodge as you can, you can go up to 60%. Robin Infinite Frontier. Although his passive is really niche requiring Robin to be in stealth and dodge power moves, it's his own power move that really sets himself apart as a decent character terms of a 4 star. He does 3 hits and can remove buffs on crit and inflicts a dot, but it's the speed of his power move that really makes him deadly. He's set at 8, which is pretty quick. Okay, so I would rate Batgirl as an S. She's good on her own, she's good with the Bat family, so yeah, she's the cornerstone. And she that woman though is only a B, because you really need Batgirl to get her for that 20%. Robin would be at a IC or OB. So the pros to the Bat Family team is not really stealth, but the dodge that, which leads to good pairings. So you can have Batwoman, Batgirl, you know, as a good pair on defensive teams, which makes it pretty flexible. But offensively, I'm not sure how viable they are. It seems that they have a fun mechanic, but competitively, uh, you want your offensive team to be as consistent as possible. There's nothing fueling their power moves like a Lex or a Starfire or any tile manipulation like we have with Riddler. You need a lot of duplicates or copies of Batgirl and Batwoman to achieve the height of RNG success, so it is quite expensive to get there. Counters to the Bat family would be Aquaman, Aqualad, Deadshot Huntress, Batgirl herself, um, Cyborg, Robin, 3 Star, and Blue Beetlekin hit people from stealth. I haven't talked about Superboy, but it should be no surprise that he is the blue engine and the go-to for mono blue and really just flood the board with special tiles. However, you are restricted to Superman, Superboy in maximizing that potential there because of the passives complementing only each other. Uh, the Superman family bonus is pretty interesting. Once they drop below 50% of their max HP, uh, their attack and defense increase the 10 or 20% depending on how many you have. But I think Superman is an A, he's annoying, 
Right, the Justice League is still a powerhouse. It's very strong. Supergirl is a B. And Superboy, I think, is also a B. It's because like, it's really niche. Like, together, they're very strong, but need so much more. Crypto is also a D because, I mean, he only complements the Superman families. And it's, and it's really, they're that low because of Lex, right? That Lex is just counter to this entire team. So if you don't have Lex against them, it's an uh, uphill battle. Good other pairings with this team would be King Shark, Waller and Enchantress, complement King Shark. Yeah, Nightwing, so you would use uh, Vandal as well. The Justice League combination. Something that I think is a good thing is the revamp of some of the group bonuses, uh, especially if you're looking at Justice League. Legion of Doom, in general, I think is they got nerfed here, but it's a good direction because now you know that Legion of Doom just wants buffs. Suicide Squad Critical cha uh, Chance buff. Yeah, overall, I think it's good. I think it's a good change. It's not just a generic group buff. It's pretty in line with what the, the group wants to do. So are you guys still playing, you know, with those amazing battle pass changes? It's great, right? It's like they want your money, but it's so glaringly bad that they want your money. Tell me you need money without telling me you need money.